All right, now uh, find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. Assume that lines which appear to be diameters are actual diameters. Okay, well, it turns out that we measure an arc the same as the central angle that makes it. Because there's 360 degrees in a circle, there are 360 degrees in an arc as well. So, for instance, here it says measure of IJH. Okay, arc IJH. Well, IJH starts here, goes through J, and all the way to H is a major arc. Well, if this is a diameter, like it says, uh, HJ here, then it would be 180 degrees because it's a straight line. Well, if that's 180 and it tells us this is 42, then we know that this central angle is 42 because it matches. And we know that this portion of the arc over here is 180 because it matches the central angle, which in this case is a diameter. So to get from H all the way around to I is just 180 plus 42. So 222, 222 degrees. All right, so uh, that's basically what we're doing in this section. We have to look at the pieces we're given. We know the central angle matches the arc angle. Uh, and then we add together what we need to know. So this asks for the central angle, angle E, D, G. E, D, G. Well, that will just be the same as the sum of the arc, E, G. So 55 plus 80, 135 degrees. Because that's 55... If that's 55 up there, then that's 55 down here. If that's 80, that's 80. So 55 plus 80 is 135. Okay, now uh, we also know that still, even though we're dealing with circles and central angles, uh, if we've got lines that cross, then... then um, Vertical angles also match, so opposite arcs will match. So this is measure of angle J, G, K. So J, J, G, K. That's this one. That's what we want. Okay. I was saying before, if this is 105, this angle is 105. Uh, I would know that this angle here is 105 and this is 105. That's not necessarily helpful here, but it will be later on probably. Uh, if HJ is a diameter, then it's 180 degrees. Well, then KGJ has to add with 105 to make 180 because that's a straight line. So it's got to be 75 degrees. Uh, this one says measure of GF. It's only two, so it's the minor arc GF. It's another supplementary problem. That's 125, and that's a straight line. Then what's this angle have to be to make 180? Well, 180 minus 125, which is 55 degrees. If that's 55, this is 55. Okay. Uh, go ahead and try a couple other ones. If you would, uh, try like 25, 26, 27, and 28. Pause this, try those, and then I'll answer them. All right, so assuming you did what you're supposed to do, 25 through 28. Uh, 25 says measure angle LIM. LIM is this one. Well, that is a diameter. That's 110, so 180, because that's a straight line, and minus 110 is 70 degrees, so LIM is 70 degrees. CDF. That's a major arc because it's got the third letter in it. So C, D, F is going to go all the way around here. All right, we have a pretty quick way to do this one. The total degrees in a circle is 360. If I know that this portion right here is 121, and I want to know the rest of it, I just do 360 minus 121. So 360 minus 121. We get 239. So 239 degrees is your answer there. This one says measure of FG. It's a minor arc. F G. Well, it is the rest of this half circle, this diameter, which would be 180 degrees, uh, 125 plus something. 
equals 180, and it turns out that it is still 55 degrees, the same as it was in the other problem we did. Okay, uh, let's see. 28, it says IGJ. IGJ is this one. Okay, this is one where we're going to use uh, vertical angles because if this is 122, then this is 122, and so is this one. All right, uh, that's basically what all these problems are. Uh, try some and let me know if you have any problems or need help.